Let us pray. Our Father, we thank you for the privilege you have given us to have this seminar for workers in the various language churches. 
baba wa dupe lowo yin fun amfani ti e fi fun aye lati le se ru seminar bayi fun olukuluku si se ninu awon ju elede we thank you because you have counted us worthy to be part of this seminar adupe ni tori pe ka wa ye lati jara won ti yo ko pa ninu akoko idanileko yi we are praying that our time together will be blessed of you in jesus name Angba dura pe ki ibukun yin wa sori akoko ti a o ma lo pelu yin ni oruko Jesu. Pray O Lord that nothing will hinder us from getting the best from you in Jesus name. Oluwa gba dura pe ki o ma se si ohun ko nti yo di wa lowo lati gba eto dara ju lowo yin ni oruko Jesu. As workers we represent many other people. Gege bi awon osise a n soju opolopo awon elumiran. We are not here for ourselves. A ko wa ni fun ara wa. We are here so we can learn and then go to give out to those who are waiting behind. A wa ni ki a le keko ki a si le lo fi fun awon to nduro de wa. So we pray that you make us realize we are representatives of the people back in the various churches in Jesus name ni tori ni oluwa n gba dora pe ki eran wa lowo ki a le mo wi pe a wa ni gege bi a soju awon ti o nduro de wa ni ijo elekun je kun ti elede jede ni oruko jesu they need we pray you help us to receive so as to go and give to them o n gbogbo ti won ni lo oluwa gba dura ki eran wa lowo lati le ri gba ki a le lo fi fun won that we be a blessing to the people of god we a o le je orisun ibukun fun awon eni olorun to be fervent and zealous in the work of god we a o gbo na joja o si ni itara ninu ise oluwa at all look Wormness will go away from our lives. Go, 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 go! No, go to to your feet. Be a ye wasile. The fire from heaven will fall upon the altar of our soul and spirit. Be no la tori ti olorun yo bere si jori nu oka ti e mi wa ni oruko Jesu. God will come upon every one of us. Be a dar olorun yo ba le olukuluku wa. That everything that makes a person to be lukewarm, you will cancel from our lives in Jesus' name. pe gbogbo nti o ma mu keyan di olorin rin nipa temi le o fa gile ninu aye wa ni oruko Jesu whatever makes us to be little ourselves that we do not know the much we can do for you Lord we pray that you will cut off all those things away from our lives in Jesus name o nko n to mu ke a ma foju ko ara wa mole ti aro pe a ko le se o nko ninu ijoba yin baba gbadura pe ke fa gile ke mu ko ninu aye wa ni oruko jesu every plant the devil has planted in our lives in this seminar uproot it in jesus name igi kigi tabi rugbi kirugbi ti osu ti gbin sinu aye wa ni akoko idanileko yi e fa tu kuro ninu aye wa ni oruko jesu the seed of discouragement and its seed of despair and the seed of regret and the seed of lukewarmness and the seed of prayerlessness that the devil is trying to plant in our soul in our mind in our spirit oh lord uproot it in jesus name irugbi idayafo irugbi irewesi irugbi ilowowo irugbi ko gbonoko tutu gbogbo irugbi ti o tan gbe yanju lati gbe sinu aye wa ni akoko seminar yi baba e pa won tu kuro ninu aye wa ni oruko Jesu the anointing that has been taken away pour it upon us in Jesus name ami ororo to ti kuro ninu aye wa e tu le wa lori lekure re ni ni oruko Jesu all our consecrations everything we laid upon the altar before that we have been taken away one by one oh lord bring them back to our lives in Jesus name gbogbo iyare ni soto wa o n gbogbo ta ti fi sori pepe tele ta ti mu kuro lai mo ni kokan oluwa e da pada sinu aye wa ni oruko jesu we are the people that we will use to bring revival to be renewal to bring consecration to bring conversion upon all the people around us we stretch ourselves upon the altar of the lord use us in jesus name Asa mo wi pe awa ni awon eniyan na ti e o lo lati sise ise nla lati mu isoji isodo to ati yi pada oko bo opolopo awon eyan ti o nduro de wa oluwa a do bale gbalaja lori pepe baba lo wa ni oruko jesu in this place we want people like paul again ni oluwa a tun pe awon eniyan bi paul le ko si we want people like peter and john that will say silver and gold have i none What I have I give unto you in the name of Jesus rise up and walk we want them all not again in Jesus name Ni Oluwa tun pe awon eyan bi pe teru ati Joanu awon ti o lo wi pe Spadaka ti wura wa ko ni sugbon ti ani la fi fun oni oruko Jesu Christ ti Nazareth dide ke o si ma rin Oluwa gbadura ta awon eyan bi Paul afan imi pe teru ati Joanu je ke a da bi won bayi ni oruko Jesu 
people like Elijah that can go before Ahab and say, according to my word, there shall not be rain all these days. Give us those people in Jesus' name among us. And when you be a leader, tole lo si wa juhabu la iberu. Tole yi pe gege bi oromi. Ki yo si o jota biri. Ni a wadu wa yi. Olu a wen yi be. Pi wopu wa ni oruko jensu. People like Elisha that the people can go to and say the situation of this city is very good but the water is bad and there is death there. And he can bring salt in the new cruise and then he can pour it upon the spring. It will heal the whole land, heal the whole city and bring all the people to God. Make us like Elisha today in Jesus name. <laughs> Shukwan wa ala ti anina ni ele yi ni tori o mire ati ya wan shoro yi Ti yon si sopon ti wan shebi wan shebi yon Si nou la dupo ti wan si da si ori su nan Ti yon si shisha yi mula rada ti wo son ni ilu nan la ni anwe ni yon nan Ilu anwe ni bè ti o ni yon wan lan nou nan ye wan Bè wan di de la ni wan ni oruko jomsu People like Abraham that can lay their eyes sick on the altar Lay their job on the altar Lay their profession on the altar Lay themselves upon the altar And be ready to work for the salvation of Sodom and Gomorrah To work for the salvation of this city of Lagos To work for the salvation of Nigeria Raise up those people in our midst in Jesus name And when you will be Abraham Ti on the fi isa ki wan sorry pepe To on the fi on to jojo 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 wan sorry pepe To on the fi isa wan sorry pepe To on the fi ojo shi ojo wan sorry pepe To on the fi emi wan sorry pepe Ti won si jide fi igba la sode mo gomora. Ti won si shef fi rakpa da won ton shebe. Olu ak badura kwe ninu ijo wani yi. A won ti yo jide fi igba la. Ori le de yi ati ilu yi ati kwele yi. Be won di de la ni wani oruko jensu. Lord won people like Jephthah that will say I have opened my mouth to the Lord. I cannot go back. Give us people like that in Jesus name. Olu wa an wa wen yo bi Jephthah la ni wa. And what you are, we put more tea and no miss your Lua and Cosin, you put you away. You do, and when you better take you, you are any sort of work for that. You want for one year, look at Jansu. Lord, we are praying you give us women like Deborah when there was no man to stand, no man to go to the battlefield, no man to fight the battle of the Lord. The women like Deborah that will rise up and say, I will do it, I will go, I will do everything that it takes. Give us women like that in Jesus' name. I want to be Deborah. I want to tell you, we pray. We want to go to the house. 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 Bring their money to serve the Lord. Bring their family to serve the Lord. Influence their husbands to serve the Lord. Oh Lord, give us such women in Jesus' name. And when you be Hana, I want to be Hana. Any will be alone. Ti won le fi o ma won ji fo lu akpata akpata. Ti won le fi o wo won ji fo lu akpata akpata. Ti won le ni pa lori ayi o ko won lati si o lu wa. Lori ebi won lati si o lu wa. Iru a won eni eni will be alone. Be be Hana. Fi won fo wani ni jo ino ruko Jesus. Give us women like Mary that can provide salvation for the world. That can provide the Lord Jesus Christ that will come and declare the truth of the word of God and rest of such son of God. Oh Lord, we pray you give us people like that in Jesus' name. I want to believe in Maria. I want to believe in Maria. I want to want to believe in Maria. I 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 want to Oh Lord, in this meeting we come for you. We come for revival. We come for renewal. We come for reconsecration. We pray that anything of the devil, anything of darkness, anything of demons will not find a place in our midst in Jesus' name. Olu wa angba dura wipo, onko onti shoti eshu, onko onti shoti okoko, onko onti shoti eli okoko, onko ni ra ye la ni wani yi ni oruko jomsu. All that attitude and habit of talkativeness, we cancel it in Jesus name. 
gbogbo iwa si ati emi gija laro ya gbo te ku wi peye afagile laarin wa ni oruko jesu all that attitude and habit of grumbling complaining murmuring why is this so why is this so the people that are looking for material things not looking for able to descend upon them cancel it in jesus name gbogbo iwa si ati iwa kikun ti si awuye wuye si so ati ti si awawe e ki lore tele ifiri be ki lore ti ton ti ton ifiri be awon ton lo po ti ara ti won ko won ti won ko won ti emi gbogbo iwa be baba e pa gire laarin won ni oruko jesu father we pray that you open heaven and you shower your blessings upon us baba gbadura pe ke si orun sile ke si rojo bu ko yin le wa lori after this work and seminar we will never be the same in jesus name we will climb the highest mountain. We will go the longest journey. We will save multitudes of sinners in the kingdom of God. All the churches that we represent coming from our district, where there is coldness, where there is lukewarmness, as we go back, fire from heaven will come in Jesus' name. All those people that have been in our language churches for months, for years, they have not been born again. As we go back, oh Lord, the fire of conviction will burn. That they will fall upon their knees, they will call upon the Lord Jesus Christ, they will be ushered into the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Oluwa gbogbo awon eyan won ni tun o ti wa ni ju aleku je ko wa fun opolopo osu fun opolopo odun sibe won o ni gbala won o mo oluwa oluwa gbadura to ina idale bi fun ise ti o mu won lo sori ekun won ti won wo oluwa ti won fi di eni gbala oluwa gbadura pe ke tu le wa lori ni oruko jesu we pray that the revival starting in this place will go through this city it will go through all our tribes in this country, in all the states, in all the local governments. This revival fire that you are sending from this time will cover this whole land in Jesus' name. The churches that have been dwindling and very, very small, they are not able to reach any goal. They are not able to expand. Oh Lord, I pray, all the limitation the devil has put upon these churches, you remove them, you break them up, and you make them to be without limitation, expansion and growth in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray that from this very time new things will begin to happen. And everyone here in this seminar will never be the same again. All the churches that we represent, those churches will never be the same again. That Lord mighty revival, revival of repentance, revival of salvation, revival of new life, revival of Christian conduct, revival of praying, revival of power will break out in all the district churches in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Tonight as we begin our worker seminar, we have the message, the challenge before us. Ni asha leyi bi atin bere seminar ti awon osise 
Iwasi tiyo wani wajo wani ipe nija tiyo wani wajo wa If we could have eyes to see as the Lord is seen There is a great special challenge before every one of us Bia bale ni oju la tiri biolu wa tiri ongo bo tiyo wani wajo wani Jono tuwa kebele if we could see the multitudes of people that do not have the Lord that have not been born again and the Lord wants us to reach out unto them you'll see there's a great challenge before every one of us bi abaleri e gba gbeje ogun logo awon kan ti won o ti mo luwa ti won o ti di eni igbala bi won ti po to ni ayika wa a o mo daji pe bi o ti je pa lo ru an fi se ile lowo lati lo gba gbo kan won la ipeni ja nlan be ni waju wa matthew chapter 9 verse 36 ninu matthew ori kesan ese ikerin de ni ogoju but when he saw the multitudes he was moved with compassion on them because they fainted and they were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd sugar nigba ti ori ope niyan anu won se nitori ti a re mu won won si tu ka kiri bi awon agbuto ti ko ni oluso we need eyes like the eyes of the lord jesus christ ani lati ni oju oju bi ti jesus christ oluwa wa so that we will see what the lord jesus christ is seeing ki a ba le ri awon nkan won ni ti jesus oluwa wa ri we will see the need of men like jesus saw their need a o le ri ai ni awon eniyan bi jesus se ri ai ni won we will see the spiritual need of the never dying souls in our community a o le ri ai ni ti emi awon kan ti ki ku we will see the multitudes that are fainting without any source of sustenance. Millions of language people in this city and in this nation they are neglected by the gospel churches. There are many people that are not saved. And many of these language people are dying without a hope of heaven. There are many of them that have gone into false doctrine and they have false hope. There are many of these language people that are just religious church goers, they are not born again. Among these church goers will find that tribalism is stronger than loyalty to Christ and to the truth of the gospel. Many of them are seeking the way of truth, but they are being deceived by false prophets. There is great spiritual need that only the language churches can meet. And yet you will see that in many effective gospel churches, they use English language in preaching. And they do not have any way of reaching the teeming multitudes or the millions of people that do not understand English and only the local language will be able to reach out unto them. That is why for us who are here tonight and others who are still joining us, the challenge is very great. We need to Number one, I want to talk to you on the challenge of the lost crying for hell. Challenge of the lost crying for help. Number two, challenge for consecrated workers. Number three, urgent response to the challenge. E down, ni kankan, si pe ni jaye. Challenge of the lost 
crying for help. Many years ago, there was a young boy that fell into a river. And the torrent and the and the waves on and the, the waves of the sea was so great it pulled that boy right into the midst of the river. The mother happened to be at the shore. And he saw his child being washed away by the torrents of river. She wanted to jump into the river to rescue her boy. There were men around her. And they kept her down. And she was screaming and crying. Leave me alone, leave me alone. The people that were watching and hearing did not know what was happening. They thought that these men were trying to hurt the woman. But and so there was one man that came wanting to know what was happening and the woman cried and said my boy my boy let me alone let me jump in and rescue my boy and these people knew that she couldn't swim it was just a concern of a mother and so this young man that came to them hearing the cry of that mother he was moved by that cry he looked out at the sea and then it was at that time the way brought the child up in the, in the sea and the mother pointed and said there is, there is, that is my boy and this young man that saw that woman crying removed his shirt. And he jumped into that river. When he jumped into the river, the wave carried him also into far away from the shore. He struggled looking for that boy. He was able to catch that boy like this. And the, and the wave took the boy far away from him again. He himself almost lost his life. Eventually, this young man grabbed that boy. And, and the mother was still screaming. Let me go and help. Let me go and help. I'll catch my boy. My boy will not drown. And eventually, this young man, he was able to hold on to that boy and the wave took both of them almost to knock them at a particular cliff and mountain very near the, in, in that river eventually through struggling they came to the shore the boy had drunk so much water the young man that went into the river to rescue that fellow was dizzy, almost fainting because of exhaustion. Eventually, they revived that boy. And this young man that went to rescue that boy, too, eventually they made him to rest and made him to breathe very well. Eventually, he himself was revived. And the mother looking at his own child saying that ch the child has become alive again he went to that young man he said there's nothing I can do for you I am a poor woman but you heard the cry of a sorrowful mother and you took your own life jumped into the river and you rescued my boy God will reward you. 
God will make you great. Almost everybody forgot that story. That young man went to school. Came out of school. Eventually, he became a president in America. God answered the prayer of that woman or the mother on that young man. You rescued my boy from dying. God will reward you. And God will make you great. That young man had the cry of the lost. And God rewarded him. The Lord Jesus Christ too is very concerned today that many young people are drowning. That many language people are drowning. And he cannot come from heaven to come and rescue them. And when you hear the cry of the Lord and you do like that young man and you say I will do something God will reward you. God will make you great on earth and make you great in heaven. You see, the lost people are crying. They want to be delivered. They want to be saved. But how many people today, how many churches today are hearing the cry of the Lord? How many men today here are hearing the cry of the Lord? How many women here tonight? are hearing the cry of the Lord. The Acts of the Apostles chapter 16 verse 9. Acts chapter 16 verse 9. And a vision appeared to Paul in the night and there stood a man of Macedonia and prayed him saying, Come over into Macedonia and help us. These people of Macedonia had been waiting without hope. They're like many people speaking your language. They want to be saved. There is no preacher. They want to have Jesus Christ. Nobody to show them Jesus Christ. They want to escape hell, nobody to direct them to the way of heaven. These people in Macedonia had been there wanting to know the way of salvation. There were apostles in Jerusalem, they didn't know about these people in, in uh, Macedonia. There were many people that had gone out in preaching the gospel. They didn't know about these people in Macedonia. There were thousands of believers in Jerusalem, but these people had nobody to lead them to the Lord. Nobody could speak their language. Nobody gave them any literature. And so Paul the Apostle in the night he saw a man from Macedonia and he saw that individual crying out we are lost let somebody show us the savior we are spiritually blind let somebody come and open our eyes our grandfathers have gone to hell and we their children we are following them let somebody come and rescue us and in that night vision this person looked at Paul. He said, You have the gospel. You know Jesus Christ. We are in need of hell. We need to be saved. Don't let our city perish like this. Come over it will take you a long journey come over you have to spend money we cannot give the money to you but come over you have to forsake your family but come over it will affect your trade and affect your work but come over it will separate you from your friends but come over you will leave the comfort of the Jerusalem Christians but come over 
You will eat strange food over here in Macedonia, but come over. You will not have any friend among us until we are born again, but come over. Come over into Macedonia. We may be calling you in Galatia, but come to Macedonia. They may be calling you in Samaria, but come to Macedonia. All those people that have had the gospel over and over and over and over many times in Jerusalem may come to call you again, but come over to Macedonia. The people in Antioch that have enjoyed your ministry may be pulling you back, saying, Don't leave us, don't leave us, but come over to Macedonia and help us. We're helpless, help us. We're miserable, help us. We're not saved, help us. We're perishing, help us. And Paul, the apostle had the cry of the Lord. Immediately when he woke up, he said, we gather that God will want us to go into their midst and go and help them. If you're a Yoruba person here, you, don't you know a lot of those Yoruba people that are perishing? If you're a person here, don't you know a lot of people, people in this city that are perishing without the sound of the gospel? If you're a Yoruba, you are epic. Don't you know a lot of epic people in this city that do not know the Lord they are telling you, come over and help us. If you are French, don't you know those who have come from various countries around us here and they are just spending useless life in Lagos? If you can help, they are helpless and hopeless and miserable and dying. Come over and help us. What is your language? Can you not hear the cry of the lost? Have you not seen them taking them to mortuary and taking them to burial ground? Don't you see how they fill the white garment churches? Don't you see how they fill the Catholic church? Don't you see how they fill the Anglican and the Methodist church? And they're wondering when will somebody that knows Christ come to tell me about Christ so I can be saved. Have you not seen those women that do not know how to read anything at all? Have you not seen those traders that do not know how to read the Bible at all? And all the preaching we do in English does not reach them. They're still saying, when will somebody come to help me? to know the Lord. Come over to Macedonia and help us. In Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 15. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 15. The labor of the foolish wearies every one of them because he knoweth not how to go into the city. La la ashiwere da ulukuru kwaani agara ni toriti koma biati losi lo. Have you ever seen some people that have been in the desert wanting to get to the city, but they cannot find the road? Oh, atiri a wakan riti wa wa ni ashale. One fair day lo shubati wa kumo na atidebe. You see, many years ago, oma ni akwado say. There was a man that had a large, large farm. O kone kan wa ti oni o koto tobi ilo koto fe. And he established a hut in. That farm. And his family was living on that farm. They had grown the plantation of rice. 
for and the rice had come up very much. And on this terrible day, one of the children wandered into the rice plantation and field. And uh, as he went like that, they thought that he went to be able to kill some rabbits, and so they didn't worry about it. And evening was coming, the night was falling. This boy had not returned. When it came to about 8 or 8.30, the parents began to get seriously concerned. They shouted his name, they couldn't find him. The boy had wandered too far into the rice my plantation. And the rice had become so high, taller and higher than the height of the boy. It was a time of cold. And so the parents became concerned. They shouted and shouted to recover the boy. They couldn't hear any sound. And so the father beckoned to all other farmers far away. The cry of the Lord. And the boy came back home. And he told these people that the chief of my strength, my boy, the one that is growing up, I cannot see, you must help me to find this ball. And this is a true story. And so what these farmers did is that they held hands together. And they stretched from the left to the right. And held their hands like this. From one end of the farm. And they were walking through the very long distance of that farm. They didn't care again for the Eyes. They wanted to comb and search every place to find that boy. And they were going and going. And after they had gone very far, behind them, all that rice was leveled completely. But as they came to a particular point, one of those farmers shouted and cried out. The boy had been found. But the boy was dead. Because it was a time of cold and winter, there was ice. That boy wandered away. He tried to find a way back to the hall. He labored. He tried. He went this direction. He couldn't find the horse. He, he went this direction. He couldn't find the horse. Do you know what the Bible says? The labor of the foolish wearieth every one of them because he knoweth not how to get to that place. Our people are like that. Oh, they know there is heaven. Every person in this world, he knows there is a place of rest. As them at the celestial church, they know there is heaven. Children of Seraphim, they know there is heaven. And they know there is heaven. They know there is heaven. Even I don't worship, they know there is heaven. Where is the way to the city? Who will show these people? And the labor of every one of them wearies every one of them. They go this direction, they can't find the way to heaven. If they go this way, they can't find the way to heaven. And in the darkness of this world, as they labor and labor and labor, if you don't get to them in time, they get tired and they get weary. Eventually, 
Actually, they die without knowing the way to the gate of heaven. Won't you do something about it? Won't you be challenged by the cry of the lost? The cry of the people that want to get to heaven, but they do not know the way how. That leads me to the second point. The challenge of consecrated workers. The challenge of consecrated workers. In 2 Chronicles chapter 15. Second Chronicles chapter 15. It says, Now for a long season, Israel had been without the true God and without a teaching priest and without the law. You see the condition? No, no God, no teacher, no law, no word of God. That's why we need you. Because you see, in many places, there is nobody to teach the word of God. And the people do not have the word of God. And God is looking for consecrated workers. And the challenge is that you will become one of them. Do you know that in many of our places, there are some people like this, they are almost born again, but not yet born again. Almost born again, but not yet born again. Many years ago, I was very young at that time. There's a woman in the place where we are. Uh, where we were living. And this woman had been pregnant. And the ninth month had already expired. And she was about to deliver. And as she was about to deliver, uh, she was laboring and laboring. I still remember the picture very now in my mind. And then my father and the other people in that uh, house they were running up and down to rescue that mother and rescue that child and the woman at that time at that terrible time she had labored all through the night in the hours of the morning she was still laboring and eventually she started to cry and I can still remember those people that stayed around. They said the child is almost born. We can see part of the body of the child. They said, try your best and push. She cried and said, no strength again. They said, try. There was no dispensary. There was no hospital. There was no midwife. And they said, You're almost making it. They said, Push. She said, There was no strength. And crying there. He ran up and down. Well, it's difficult to tell you the final end of that story. Even though I was a little boy at that time, I trembled. Nobody to help. Nobody to rescue. Because the child had come to the point of being born, but there was no strength. In Second Kings chapter 19, Second Kings chapter 19. And I'm reading to you in verse 3. And they said unto him, Thus saith Ezekiah, This day is a day of trouble and of rebuke. And then it says of blasphemy. Then it says, For the children are come to the birth, and there is no strength. To bring forth. What you will 
o si tun wi pe nitori ti awon omo de oju ibi ko si agbara lati ju the children have come to the point of being born but there is no strength to bring forth awon omo ti de oju ibi tan ko a ti okan lati bi won you know there are many of our language people like that they have had they have had it's almost to be born again but then no strength to bring forth and no midwife, nobody, none of you, none of us here, to be able to go and help them sing, almost at the very last minute you can be born again now and get to heaven, no strength to bring forth. <laughs> That's why I bring the challenge to you tonight. Are we going to allow the mother to die and the child to die? Are we going to allow these people to perish? They want to be born again too. Like you have the joy of salvation, don't you want to have the joy of salvation? Like you came out of darkness into the glorious light of the gospel. They also want to come into the glorious light of the gospel. Like the labor pain stopped eventually and then joy will come that a child has been born. They also want to be born into the kingdom of God. Are there workers here who are willing to sacrifice their time to rescue the perishing? Point three is the urgent response to the challenge. Let me ask you a question. That mother that was crying. Saying, let me alone, let me go and rescue my son from the sea. If the young man that came to remove his dress to jump into that river was didn't do it urgently, that child would have been would have died. The boy that strayed away to the field of pride. If somebody had responded very quickly and immediately, that child would have been rescued. The one I told you just now, or the one that was trying to deliver, but no more strength. If uh, maybe a, if some hours before that time, somebody had maybe induced that woman or did something, Maybe that the, the thing that happened would not have happened. Yes, of But the Nehemiah had the condition of Jerusalem. The walls were broken down. The gates were burnt to fire. All their houses became heaps and rubbish. The sepulchre of his fathers had been defiled. He was in the palace in Shushan. When he heard a cry, he fasted. He prayed unto the Lord. In the very next chapter, chapter 2 of Nehemiah, the king saw his face and he said, You have not been sad like this before. He said, Why are you sad? He said, O king, how will I not be sad? The city of my fathers and the sepulchre of my fathers and the gates of Jerusalem are been broken down, O King, I am sad. Baba, me, ati, a bit, I want Baba, and me see, I tell you, but Jerusalem, where that is, you know, Oba, you know, me, Baba. And the King said, What is your request? Oba, she said, King, he buried the dog. He said, O King, let me go. Oba, on Katimo, Ben, and the Christian Jack in my law. I'm telling you that your people are perishing. What is your request? Most of all, when you're ancient, but King, he buried the dog. said, Let me go. No, my, we pay Jack in law. I must do something. We must not waste time. I want to go now. 
whatever the cost will be. I want to go and rebuild the gates of Jerusalem. Those broken walls, I want to go and rebuild them. Let me go. Are there people here tonight? Seeing those people are perishing. Seeing that our language people are being destroyed. That the people do not have the way of salvation. Are there people here tonight? That are saying, let me go. Every chain that is binding you, break it and say, let me go. Everything that is disturbing you, say, now I must push all this away, let me go. All the things that have been conveniences and luxury for you, push them aside, let me go and save my people. And then you bring the torch of salvation. And you say, whatever the English churches are doing, whatever the other people are doing, I want to consecrate all my life, all my time, all my resources, everything I have to the salvation of our language people, let me go. That's why a whole book of the Bible is devoted to the name of Nehemiah. His record came to the Bible. So your record be in the book of life in heaven. Let me go. So many people are saying that tonight. Let me go and rescue my people. Let me go and rescue my people. Why don't you rise up and tell the Lord, let me go and rescue my people. Nothing will tie me down, let me go and rescue them. Money will not tie me down, let me go and rescue them. Lord, beauty will not hinder me, let me go and rescue them. Business will not hinder me, let me go and rescue them. Profession will not hinder me, let me go and rescue them. O King, let me go. O King, let me go. Husband, let me go. Wife, let me go. Business, let me go. Market, let me go. Luxury and convenience, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. I want to do something. I want to rescue the perishing. I want to preach the gospel. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. I want to do something. I want to do something. I want to do something. Are you going to preach the gospel? Are you going to preach the gospel? The challenge is coming to you tonight. Let me go and preach. Let me go and preach. Let me go and preach. Let me go and rescue the perishing. Let me go and rescue the language people. Let me go. I want to rescue them. And I want to be part of the people that will build up the walls of Jerusalem. Let me go and serve the Lord. Let me go and serve the Lord. Nothing will hinder me. Nothing will tie me down. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. The language people are perishing. I want to do something. The language people are perishing. I want to do something. The language people are perishing. I want to do something. Let me go and preach the gospel. What is your response to the challenge? What is your response to the challenge? What is your response to the challenge? There is a great challenge before us tonight. There is a challenge before us tonight. Release yourself and serve the Lord. Release yourself and preach the gospel. Let me go and serve the Lord. I will preach the gospel. I will preach the gospel. I will preach the gospel. The, gospel. the people are perishing. They must come to know the Lord. Break every chain that is tying you down. 
Break every chain that is tying you down. Let me go. I want to preach. Let me go. I want to build up the gate of Jerusalem. Let me go. I want to build up the walls of Jerusalem. Let me go. I want to bring these language people to know the Lord and to come to heaven. Let me go and preach. Let me go and preach. Let me go and preach. Don't disturb me. Let me go and preach. Don't tie me down. Let me go and preach. Don't hinder me. Let me go and preach. Don't bribe me with money. Let me go and preach. I have heard the cry of the lost and I want to go and preach. I have seen the people that are saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. I want to go and preach. I will do it. 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 Let me go. Release me. I want to preach. I don't want the devil to tie me down. I don't want money to tie me down. I don't want business to tie me down. I don't want anything to tie me down. Let me go and preach. Let me go and preach. Let me go and preach. Please don't tie me down. Let me go and preach. Money, don't tie me down. Let me go and preach. Position, don't tie me down. Let me go and preach. My family, don't tie me down. I want to go and preach. Don't tie me down. I want to go and preach. Business and politics, don't tie me down. I want to go and preach. Let me go, I want to preach. Woman, don't you want to preach? Sister, I don't want you to preach. Don't you want to preach? Language people are waiting for you. Don't you want to preach? My brother, man, what don't you want to preach? Young man, don't you want to preach? Why don't you break all that chain? Why don't you break all that chain? Let nothing tie you down. Don't let tiredness tie you down. Don't let anything tie you down. Don't let society tie you down. Arise and preach. Arise and preach. Arise and preach. Arise and preach. Are you not hearing the cry of the Lord? Are you not hearing the cry of the Lord? Are you not hearing the cry of the Lord? Come, come, come over to Macedonia and help us. Arise and preach the gospel. Arise and preach the gospel. Arise and preach the gospel. Let me go, I want to preach. Me Oruko Jesu ni Agbadura. In Jesus' name we pray. Ni Oruko Jesu ni Agbadura. In Jesus' name we pray. Baba wa ti Olorun wa dupe ni owo yin ni asa leyin. A father and a god we thank you for tonight. Adupe lowo yin tori pe we wa sibiti awa loni ki se po sesi e ti ma be lati aye baye ni. We thank you because our coming before you tonight is not accidental it is divinely planned from the time past. Asi ti bere se ri owo agbara yin bayi wi pe eyin Olorun ti pinu ipade yin lati aye baye wa. And we are beginning to see your hands already that Lord you have plan for this program right from time immemorial. Nitori na Olorun wa adupe lowo yin ni oruko Jesu e wa gbo pe e wa. For this father we pray Lord you accept our praises in Jesus name. Nigbati ati nbo lati mo pe ati nbo wa si ile ise yin nibi ti a o ti tu wa mo. 
Gbogbo ti o da ninu aye wa ni bi te o ti yo kuro. Awon nkan to seku ninu aye wa ni bi te o ti pinkun nitori na baba. Adupe lowo yin tori pe ati bere ise yin e gba ko e wa ni oruko Jesu. Right from the time we started the journey from our houses, we know we are coming to your workshop. We are coming to where your mighty hand will refine us. Where your mighty power will work within us. All that is useless, all that is worthless, where you remove everything for this, we pray you accept our praises in Jesus' name. Nimba ye adupe lo wanyi tori pe ni bere, eti fi ikwe ni jato lagbara isi wajuwa. Already Lord, we are praising your name because at the beginning, you have given us this great challenge. Iba no jato wa lo kan wani pe anwa jo aye wati ati fi sofo ko se ikba kwa damo. Lord, the great sorrow we have within us, is the number of years we have already wasted which we cannot recollect. Ati rikwe akwa lo kwa du aye wa la di vi sofo. La e wulo fwen ye le da wa. Father, we see that many years we have spent has been wasted. We are without being useful for you, O God. Sugba la le o luwa. But tonight, O God. An se ikwe nwa o tumba yi o luwa. We are taking a fresh and a new consecration and decision. Pe yi toku ni nwa ju aye wa loro. That Lord, the remaining years we are going to spend here on earth. But yi o jana o kuru ni o tabi o gu e toku ni nwa ju aye wa luwa. Whether few or long, O God. Ang badura ba yi pe gbo gbo etoku ninu aye wa a office yin ni oruko Jesu. Lord we are pray we consecrate all to your service in Jesus name. Ati ri ara wa gege bi amatara eni nikan. Lord we have seen ourselves being self-centered and selfish. Ari ara wa gege bi alai mori. Lord we have seen ourselves being ungrateful. Ti David ni no ma je mu lai lai nitori agotan. Agotan ti ko ni iya ni pekun lati ma gbe inu re agotan lasan lasan ti david ba le fi emi re wewu lati dojuku amotekun ati kini o lati ja won gba lenu won a oluwa awa si nwu awon eniyan eni ti e da ni awon ra ra yin won kigbe lati pe ki a fi ona gba la lo won se la nko ti kun oluwa a gba dura pe ki e dariji wa ni oruko jesu lord o david of old a shepherd caring for shepherd ordinary animals will endanger his life and will go and fight with a lion and will go and face a bear and will not mind even his own life so as to rescue ordinary sheep and here we are oh lord we are seeing millions of our language people they are dying passing through before our eyes they are going to lost eternity oh lord we just pray you have mercy on us and forgive us in Jesus' name. Allah wa ni no ti asa ki esi ni ni wa imata re ni ni kan wa ni pe opo igba ni awon elede wa ti le pe wa pe ki a wa fi ona igba la han won sugbon dipo ki a ba won soro ni edi abi ni bi wa ti la tun ma ba won soro bi alai gbede Olorun iya nu opo nu wa lo si ti pa be lo si aye raye egbe aye raye ti won ko le pada mo Oluwa gbadura pe ninu iwa imata re ni nikan yi ki e dariji wa ni oruko Jesu Father in our selfishness we have also discovered that at times even these language people our own people who want the way of salvation they want to know the Lord they want to be they come to us come and help us show us the way of salvation instead of speaking to them in the language they understand we begin to speak foreign language we begin to speak things they don't understand and these people wanting salvation they perish like that without being saved oh lord i will pray you forgive us of our selfishness in jesus name olorun wa ti le sakies pe satan ti ri wa mu ona ti o gba ri wa mu wa ni pe ati di agberaga nitori igberaga wa a o fe darapo ma awon eyan won yi tori pe won ko gba juma ninu aye a o fe fara wa dapo mo won nitori pe loki kiko ni won oluwa nitori iwa buburu iwa ina ni iwa bikita iwa matare ni nikan tin be ninu aye wa amu ara wa wa suwaju yin a si do balej balaja Oluwa e dariji wa ni oruko Jesu. Lord, we have even discovered that the enemy has captured us. And in this way, instead of going to the people, humbling ourselves, associating with them, we don't want to go to them. Because they are not popular. Because they are not known. Because they are not the great privileged people as we feel, as we think. Because of that, we are not able to come near them. And these people are perishing. How we pray, O oh God, that will forgive us of our selfishness and carelessness 
in Jesus name Oluwa opolopo awon kan ni eba ti wulo ninu ijo wa aba ti ri opolopo Paul ni ikeyin aye yi ti aba ti ri opolopo Peter ni ikeyin aye sugbon tori igberaga won o fe darapo ma awon ti won ko gbajumo ninu aye won o fe ma so edi abini bi won lati gbo opolopo kan la nitori be oke mo yi awon eyan ti koja lo sorun apadi Oluwa Olorun iya nu awa n gbadura fi lati ale ilo igbe aye otun ife otun iran otun lati ma ri bi Oluwa ti ri ati lati hu iwa ti Olorun hu Oluwa ki e gbe wa wa ni oruko Jesu Father we have even discovered that because of our pride we are not able to go to these people and we don't want to associate with them we don't want to speak to them the language they understand and because of that instead of preaching the gospel to them so that you can raise up Paul's and the Peter's and great evangelists and revivalists from among them. We do not care for them. And as a result, they are dying without salvation. Father, we pray that God of heaven, you will put an end to this in our life. And you put new love, new vision. So that we begin to see the way the Lord sees. And we have the concern and the compassion for the lost in Jesus' name. But thank you because you answered our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. I believe you have been blessed. Don't let this message die. Listen to it again and pass it to others. You can get more from God at the Deeper Life Bible Church. Our headquarters is Deeper Life Bible Church, Bagada, Lagos, Nigeria. Blessed are your ears for hearing these things. We'll meet in heaven if you do then.